Hi all, hi all of you. This is Gil. <clears throat> right now I'm uploading a new video. April 24th, 2024. No, 2004. That was on my, my uh, nephew's birthday. <clears throat> I got a new computer speaker. Well, this is my retro system I had for a long time. My computer speakers got bad, so I just replaced it with this, you know, instead of just buying, just using a retro system instead of buying computer, I mean, uh, uh, computer speakers. There's furry. <coughs> so you're gonna... We're gonna have, spend a little time with me playing Atari. We're gonna play a little Atari right now. So yeah, look at the joysticks I have here. <coughs> so I have these two TVs. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> so we're going to play a little retro Atari. <clears throat> These are all the games I got right here. Gonna check out the games I have. Well, the first game that the first game that reminds me of 1982, when we first got the Atari Freeway. When we first got our Atari, to the free Freeway was the very first game that we ever played, and it was on a TV like this one, you know, back in 1982. It was exactly April of 82, as a matter of fact. Actually, it was March of 1982 when we first got our Atari. When I got my, when we got, when we first got our Atari, you know, my dad <coughs> bought us an Atari, you know. Paid $140 at the time. <coughs> And then what do I remember about 1983? Well, 1983 was like a big year for me when when I would started buying up all these Ataris and 84, 83. Well, actually, I didn't even have an Atari for almost all of 83 because I mean, like we didn't have the money to to buy a new power adapter or something, you know. By 84, like some of the top games that remind me of 84 is um, Atlantis. One of them, one of the games. I like the sound effects of some of these games. Games and all that. Some of the top games that remind me of, of 84, 1984, it's probably going to be like Star Voyager, and of course Chopper Command, and then you know, like, and then I know Solar Fox was one of those games. Games, you know. That's one of the top favorite games I ever had in my entire life with the Atari 2600. It was a top favorite game here. 
my top. And I, I loved this game so much that I decided to actually keep the, the, this copy, this particular copy of the game. You know, like when I sold my Atari, like in one dating back in my day, I, I decided to keep this copy and Tunnel Runner because they're both like my favorite game ever. So I'm actually the original owner of these two games from 1984 and 85. I got Solar Fox in 1984, which is 40 years ago. And Tunnel Runner, I got it in 1985, <coughs> 39 years ago. <coughs> and all these games, you know, Games, some of the top games that remind me of them, that remind me of them, uh, 1985, like this is one of them. <coughs> There's one of the games that remind me of 1985. Uh, uh, what is it, Word Zapper? This was a fun game. I love this game, you know. Back in 85. Word Zapper. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, I remember that. I, I love this game, man. Huh? Another game I really love. And it brings back 1985 is this game. I love this game, man. <coughs> Towering Inferno. I loved this game, man. Oh yeah, we have to use the left controller for this one. <coughs> I remember me and Jose were, were laughing at this game because of the fire. Because like the fire, it moves. <laughs> Usually we would think of the fire staying in one place, but... It, it just moves. The object of this game was, is to, to get to this square right here and then get back down safely like, without letting the fire get you, without letting the fire touch you, you know. And then when you get out, you can get out, and then the helicopter brings down the... <coughs> and then you do it again. But you have to put out the fire so you can get to the to that square at the top. But if you could manage to pass the fire without getting touched, that would be good because you could save yourself time. But sometimes you have to put it all out. I mean, you had the option to put put out all the fire, and then and then it'll just be empty, you know. But it could be wasteful of time though. See how it does that. We clear out all the fire. It's not needed to do that though. And then eventually it clears up to the top. <coughs> yeah, man, I, I remember I loved this game, man. I loved that game when I. <coughs> but in 1984, you know, like one of the top favorite games. One of my top favorite games in 1984, it was um, Vanguard. Vanguard is probably one of one of, one of the top favorite games. <clears throat> one of my top favorite games ever in 1984. I tell you, this brings back a lot of memories. Oh, shit, I gotta put this back. <clears throat> it's a little bit finicky, you know, but... <clears throat> yeah, I wanna... I loved this game, man, I tell you. Vanguard. Yeah, I love this game when I one of my favorite games ever back then, back in my day. <coughs> Another game I really loved was Solar well yeah, Solar Fox, but I, I loved the I loved the um Atlantis and I loved um, Star Voyager is probably one of my top favorite and then Chopper Command, you know, barnstorming. And then in <coughs> 1986. <coughs> and then, what else do I remember? Against? 
Yeah, around 1982, this game, the Defender, I bought this game <coughs> for 30 bucks. For $30, $30, I bought it for my birthday. Bought it on my birthday. 1982, I was 12 years old at the time. This is what, like uh, 42 years ago? I remember, I, I really love this game now too. I mean, back in the day, like I felt so cool owning this game back then because this was like the hit. It was like the hit back then, you know, 1982, I tell you. I felt cool owning this game back in my day, you know. Yeah, I felt cool, you know. And then we were able to, yeah, let me see, okay. Remember that? Just tell you. Yeah, I remember, yeah. And then these landers would be able to, would pick up people, you know. Remember that. And then, you know, over here. Yeah, man, you would save the people. That's totally. <clears throat> what else is the game I used to love to play? <clears throat> yeah, I tell you, and then <clears throat> this is a top game that I loved, or that remind me of, I got it in 1984, but I remember I got really into this game dating in 1986. This game, I would play to beat the time, like try to do it in as quickly as possible. And, and my record on this was like 32 seconds back in my day, 86, I remember specifically 86, 1986, when my next door neighbor was all playing the freestyle music, you know, like, you know, like, um, let's say, um, uh, what was that, like, Rumors, if you remember the, the song by Timex Social Club, Rumors, I'll tell you, man, so, <clears throat> speaking of which, you know, these records, you know, I got, I mean, I got all over discogs, discogs.com, and I got, I got really out, like, I, ever since I found this stereo in the thrift store, I've been so overjoyed by it, and so I wanted to relive my days by buying some of these retro records, like the retro songs, you know, like, this is, um, Nice and Wild, um, Diamond Girl, and then Rumors, Time and Social Club. I got these like for like three bucks each, including shipping. Well, wow, Kano, uh, this is a house song or a disco. I'm ready, Kano. <clears throat> and Bobby Jimmy, Roaches. And then Solid by Ashford. And I'm Searching by Debbie Deb. Stacy Q, Shy Girl. I mean, it reminds me of when my, when my uh, neighbor used to play that stuff on their DJ. And then Fly Girl, Boogie Boys. And then Smurf Rock, Gigolo Tony, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Ray Parker Jr. The song, the song, um, <clears throat> The Other Woman. I like that song. Climax, The Men at Pause. I'll pause. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I have more coming in the mail. Paying about three bucks on average for each one. <clears throat> so we are the world. Falco. Um, <clears throat> Rock me and Medusa. I love that song. And then